models. So, so that I can post it because I don't have a good video on the YouTube playlist for chemistry about four models. How do you feel about that? Okay. All right. Um, so for Bohr models, we're going to do a couple together. You've seen these already. So we're going to do a couple together, and then you can see on your sheet that you picked up on your way in, do you notice how that's arranged, how that's laid out, what order these things are in? Does it look kind of like your periodic table? Yeah. You got hydrogen right here, helium right there, lithium, beryllium. If you skip across that gap, boron, carbon, nitrogen. So when we draw these Bohr models... When we draw the Bohr models, we're going to be drawing them in the order they sit on the periodic table, the first three rows. When we draw those Bohr models, do you think the periodic table is arranged in a way that is some systematic way? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So when we draw these, we're going to notice patterns. Before we go to this, though, we're going to do a couple together. So let's do... Um, anybody have a preference? Um, Eric? Um, Lithium. Okay. So let's do lithium. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do the nucleus. How many, what, or what two subatomic particles go in the nucleus? Okay. How many protons does lithium have? How many protons does lithium have? Three. The atomic number is three, so there's three protons. Right there. Atomic number three, so there's three protons. Atomic mass is seven. We're rounding to the nearest whole number. So if the atomic mass is seven and three of them are protons, four. how many of them are neutrons? So there's four neutrons. In there. Yeah, you could do this on the back of your sheet, or you could do it in your notebook. Yeah, I know, but like, well, I mean, I guess you could. Yeah, that'd be fine if you do it on here as we do them, because we're not going to do any more besides the top three in rows anyway. I'm just going to do it in here. Okay, that's your nucleus. On your sheet, if you're doing them directly in here, this first circle is just the nucleus. It's not, um, I'm going to like shave that in with a pencil. It's not the first shell. This first circle is just the nucleus. Oops, that's not right. There. All right, so then lithium has three pro. I'm going to write this up here too. Three protons. So how many neutrons? Nope. How many electrons does a neutral lithium have? If it has, yeah. If, okay, if it has three positive charges, it has three protons, then how many negative charges, how many electrons does it have? If it's neutral, it's going to have three electrons. So we're going to add those on. How many electrons go into the first shell? Two. Two. We could draw this two different ways. We could draw the electrons as little dots on that shell, if you like doing that, and then you can see them and draw one at a time. I tend to just write it like that. I just write two electrons on it. Okay, so we've got two placed in the first shell. How many left? One. One. That's a Bohr model. That's it. Well, no, let's do let's do chlorine because that's a bigger one. So let's do that together, and then you can work on them. So let's do chlorine. Chlorine in the nucleus has how many protons? How many protons? Seventeen. Atomic number seventeen. So it has seventeen protons. How many neutrons does it have? So this atomic mass, the average atomic mass is 35.45. So it's kind of in the middle, which means there's going to be a lot of isotopes that have a mass of 35 and a lot of isotopes that have a mass of 36. But most of them, it's a little bit closer to 35. We'd round it to 35. So most of them have a mass of 35. So 35 mass minus 17 gives us how much? 18. 18? 18 neutrons. All right, so if we have 17 protons, 17 positive charges, and it's neutral, and it's neutral, um, how many negative charges, how many electrons? 17. 17. How many go into the first shell? Two. Two. How many go into the next shell? 
eight. These are very unround circles. And so we've got two and eight so far. So we've got 10 that are placed. How many do we have left to place? Seven. We've got seven left. And so we're going to put those last seven into that last shell. Seven electrons. What does, we've talked about this a just a little bit so far. What does the atom want? A no, a full valence shell. It wants the full valence shell. So whichever one is the outside level, the outside energy shell, that's called the valence shell, it wants to have a full valence shell. With the exception of that first shell, how many is in a full valence shell? Eight. 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 Eight is a full, with the exception of the first one, eight is the full shell. So there's something called an octet rule. An octet rule, do you have space for this on your sheet, whether it's on the back or the bottom or the side or the top? What do you think octet has to do with? How many arms does an octopus have? Eight. So the octet rule says that we want this full valence shell, this valence shell to be full, which is eight. The octet rule says that that, that outer shell, this one right here, or this one, should be a full valence shell, and that's eight. So octet meaning eight. It's trying to get eight. So look at the chlorine that we drew. How many valence electrons does it have? Seven when it's neutral. So what does it want? What does it need? It needs one more electron. So if it has one more electron, if it gains one more electron, then it's going to have a full valence shell. It's going to satisfy that octet rule. If it gained one electron, now it has 18 electrons. So it has one more negative charge than it does positive charge, which means now it is a chlorine ion with a charge of minus one because it has one more negative charge than it does positive charge. Mm -hmm. This ion right here, is it an anion or a cation? Anion. It's an anion, a negatively charged anion. Negatively charged ion. We're going to actually do one more together. Let's do sodium. Okay, sodium, what's in the nucleus? Sodium's right there, atomic number 11, so it has 11 protons. How many neutrons? 23 minus 11 is 12. So it has 11 protons. How many electrons does it have in a neutral atom? 11. So two go in the first shell, eight go in the next shell. We've got two plus eight is 10. We've got one more to place. So one goes in that last shell. Now, in order for this to have a full octet, it could gain seven electrons, which is a lot, or it could lose one electron. Which one sounds easier to do? Lose one electron, because if we lose that one electron, then we lose this whole outer shell, and now this next one is the valence shell. If we lost one electron, now we only have 10 electrons, so we have one fewer negative charge than positive charge, which means what's the charge on this sodium? An ion now. Yeah, now it's going to be a positive one. So now it's an ion that has a charge of positive one because it has one more positive charge than it does negative charge. And what do we call it? Yep. A positively charged ion is a cation. Okay, any other questions or you wanna get going on the whole sheet? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Go for it.